Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn your offline printer online in Windows. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is head over and open up the start menu by left clicking on the start button once. Now you want to type in printer. The best manager comes up should say devices and printers right above control panel. You want to left click on this once to open it up. So now underneath printers you want to make sure this view is expanded. If it looks like this you want to click on the little arrow next to printers once to expand the view. It should be something that resembles your default printer. So it probably would say Brother, Epson, Canon, Dell, something along those lines. And to give you an even greater hint, it'll probably be a little check mark next to it, which will indicate it is your default printer. Most people are going to be experiencing this issue with their default printer. So I just want to give you guys a heads up, because what we're about to do is going to involve that one printer and that one printer only. So it looks like this Brother printer is my printer. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to left click on printer properties. Please note I'm not clicking on properties down here. I'm clicking on this printer properties right here. And I'm going to click on it one time to open it up. And now I'm going to left click on the ports tab at the top. And now our default port should be checkmarked. You might need to use this scroller to find it. And once you have found the one that's checkmarked and you've clicked on it once to select this port, you want to left click on this configure port button right here. Underneath SNMP status enabled, you want to uncheck this box and then click on OK and close out of this window. And I recommend restarting your computer and turn your printer back off and then turn it on again. And hopefully your problem has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.